Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay and in today's video we are finishing up my living space tour by showing y'all my living room. My living room is definitely an explosion of color and happiness and just like all my favorite things and just really cutesy and retro I think because it has like a lot of nostalgia to it if you know what I mean like a lot of like old toys and like Monster High dolls, Care Bears, Hello Kitty, Garfield, Hamtaro, just to name a few that I can see around me. I have so many toys in this room and plushies and stuff like that and just fun stuff because the thing that people like seem to forget is that even as an adult you can have fun with your environment crazy I know it's almost like you're allowed to buy stuff with your adult money that doesn't have to just be boring crazy but yeah I definitely enjoy making my living space look as cutesy and adorable as I want it to because like it reflects my personality, it's my style, I love cute stuff, I love just like colorfulness and you know just rainbows, I love everything, I love everything like that. You're gonna see a lot of rainbows, a lot of cute stuff, a lot of adorableness and kawaii-ness here and I'm really excited so let's get right into it. So starting right off, this is my door to the living room. Um, I do have a mirror on it because there is a closet right here as well. I normally come in and just check myself out each morning, make sure I look pretty cute, pretty fly, all that jazz, and then I go out. Right by the light switch, which is decorated with pink, um, with like a pink background and clouds, and then a little Kermit the Frog, so cute. And then right above Kermit, we have my felt embroidered um, little art piece by my friend Tamlin, whom I love so much. If you want to check out his Instagram, this is it. Um, yeah, you should check out my friend's stuff. I love them. It's so cute. It's adorable. <laughs> and it meant so much to me when I got it in the mail. Moving right along, we get over to my couch. Um, my couch is a very, very long boy, and there is a fun story about it, actually. When we were trying to get it inside, this long, long boy was not able to fit past and get through because of the odd shape of the hall and this room. So, in the process of forcing its way through the door, I crushed my finger very badly. It did not break but it was very, very bruised for a while afterward. Yeah, this couch um, is definitely never leaving this room. I do not think it is even possible to get it out, honestly, unless you like take a hatchet to it or something. So this is here to stay and will not be coming with us when we eventually move out. On the walls, I do have some important paperwork here as well as mail and then the markers for all of our whiteboards and stuff that we have up as well. We have a calendar whiteboard and then just a little random whiteboard, which we have not been using as much as we should be as you can tell from the outdated calendar. I also do have my Revolutionary Girl Yuthena poster up. I am obsessed with this anime, honestly. Um, it has a lot of really weird subplot and really weird storyline and a lot of triggering stuff in it, honestly. However, I adore the anime because like it has actual WLW representation Kinda? It's hard to explain. The movie definitely does. And like the whole like, the whole undertones are like very, very yeah. So I just love it. It's very good, very good, very good anime. I would recommend it, but check out all the triggers beforehand. And then I also have a shelving unit up here. So this shelving unit has a ton of knickknacks, toys, Care Bear plushies, Monster High dolls, just so much stuff jam-packed up here um and the reason I had to put in shelving units was because I was like I need to utilize my space better so yeah shelving units for all the toys that I didn't have room for but still wanted to keep so over here is where Lycan usually likes to sit she likes to be really close to our medical cart um and it also has self-care and gaming on it as well I'll show it to you in a little bit but over here is just our little plant plant random area it's not really like anything in particular it's kind of a catch-all right now 
but we also have some little weights down here for whenever we decide to work out or want to do some weightlifting. Some plants over here as well. We have my big monstera who is looking so cute and she has a little baneri and a little plusle in her which is so adorable and I just love that. I think it's so cute and like fun and whimsical honestly. I also have um, Fawn from Pixie Hollow. I really love it. Um, she's not in her original outfit because I lost the top to the original outfit, including her wings. She does have a beetle friend though, so she is not lonely at all. We also have a bubble maker here and some bubbles as well as a wine bottle, which I'm planning on turning into like a candle of some sort. Like, you know, the, the wine bottle candles that you've seen like cartoons and movies and stuff i want to do that so this little cart right here is honestly such a godsend for me because i can take it anywhere i need to and it's like my little emergency self-care slash feel better kind of cart um it's got all kinds of medicines it's got you know pain reliever um it's got lichens daily meds and my daily meds it's got some simply saline for like our piercings and stuff um, it's also got our medical stuff, aka you know what, the stuff that I can't show on YouTube. But I did take a lot of that stuff out right now just so that I didn't get in trouble on YouTube. Um, but yeah, this is like our medical cart. It's got some contact solution as well um, for like when we have dry eyes or when I wear my contacts. <laughs> And then down here is all my skincare, um, some like little putty in case I get stressed or liking gets stressed. It's got hair brushes that go there actually. Um, it's got some skincare stuff like suntan lotion. Um, it's got some hair care stuff, perfume, lotion, uh, and heat spray resistant stuff for when I straighten my hair. It's got makeup wipes down here as well as my blow dryer. And it usually has my straightener, but I think that's in the bedroom right now. Um, it's also got some Luden's cough drops, which actually belong right up there actually. And then it's got some games for when I'm feeling blue right here. And I really, really love my little cart. I really think that if you have ever thought about getting a self-care cart, absolutely go for it. It is so incredibly, like so helpful, so helpful. And I really, really recommend it to anyone who has ever even thought about it. Like get the little cart, you can take it with you whenever you move to a different room or if you wanna be in a different room with it, you can just roll it on in there. It's amazing, go for it. And then right here, as you can see, is my TV. I'm currently watching the Castle for Yule log, little thing on YouTube. Right over here, here is my Garfield shrine. Um, I've had my Garfield shrine since I probably like, before I ever even started J Fashion. Um, so probably like, over three, four years now I've had my Garfield collection and obviously it started off very small. Like it was just one Garfield at first, but I have amassed quite the collection since then. And I'm really, really proud of my Garfield collection. Um, it really does mean so much to me. Garfield is a big special interest of mine and like Garfield has gotten me through some really hard times, honestly, like just being able to read the funny pages and like have a moment with my mom, especially since she also really loves Garfield, um, just reading the funny papers with her when I was a kid and stuff like it, it meant a lot to me and really helped get me through some hard times. As you can see, I have a ton of different Garfields. I have my aquarium Garfield, which I call my Empreg Garfield because as you can see, he is full of other Garfields inside of his tum. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's weird or not. I really don't, but it's, it's something I say. And then right over here, we have my big pothos plant, which is so beautiful, so lovely. Um, she's doing really good, I think. I've been trying to prune her and water her more often because she is a behemoth. And then we also have my manga bookcase. So this is all my manga, save for like a few different ones and like the magazines and the Shoujo Beat and Shonen Jump magazines. But these are some of my favorite manga that I have as well as my Polaroid camera. Tons of original Monster High dolls that I had as a kid. Some of them looking a little rough, some of them not looking as rough. Then some Neopets and some Hamtaro toys from the Burger King collection. And then right here, as you can see, is my fan art wall. Um, it's some of the fan art I've gotten over the years. I need to update and add more, but yeah, I just, I love getting fan art. I adore getting fan art. So if you ever think like, oh, I want to draw a fan art of Jay, do it. I love it, please. Okay, so right here we have my vanity mirror. 
Um, I don't usually use this that often though, honestly. It's empty right now. It used to hold all my makeup, but I moved all my makeup into the bedroom and my desk in there, and now I don't use this that often. Right next to my vanity, we do have a little blanket holder that I thrifted. It's super cute, and I just love having it there for all my blankets. And then this little closet is just where we keep the water heater, so nothing to look in there for. Over here we have one of my monsteras plus a little puzzle so I just transplanted in there and then a big peace lily that I just recently got. We also have the sweetest kitty in the whole wide world right here. Yes, we do got a kitty. Um, she's just enjoying the cat tower that we have right here. We also have the windows right here which have blinds as well as some like protective like what is it called it's like the privacy screen things um the privacy like stick on screen things um they're a godsend honestly because they make me feel a lot more secure with like people seeing me when i dance around or make tiktoks in here we also do just have our little reading nook over here um we have a quite extensive book collection right now um and then we have the record player over there as well some more plants our little scented thing. We have a little cat bed for the cats in case they wanna like switch it up a little. So right over here is my little reading slash relaxation nook. Um, it basically has our record player as well as our speakers for the record player. It's got plants and then over there is all of our books that we like to read pretty frequently or we are planning to read recently or anything like that really. We've actually got more books behind the record player and my inventory for buttons as well. Um, it's really really fun. You know it's nice to be able to just put on some music and read a book sometimes you know just relax a little because I don't let myself do that very often. <laughs> I do have some drying roses right now. Um, Lycan got me for Valentine's Day, as well as some baby's breath. It's looking lovely. And then of course on the wall, we have the Care Bears blanket. And then we also have the strawberry shortcake trays that I put up with command strips that are so cute. I love them. And then we have the rainbow bright decal. I don't know, it's something. I think it's supposed to be like a baby blanket, but I use it as a wall decal. With, like I do with most blankets that have a cool design on them. And then we have some plants hanging in little planters, as well as all of my Furby collection on this shelf. Yes, there are two rows of Furbies, I believe, one in front, one in back, and then like a few little mini ones scattered in. Um, yeah, I have a lot of Furbies, if you did not know. And then right here, we do just have my Care Bear chest, as well as my Care Bear castle, a big um, 1980s variety of the Care Bears, a little Care Bear lunchbox, and then all the Care Bear Castle accessories. Um, I got my Care Bear Castle from actually my grandparents. They had it and the bottom of it was like rotted out and really gross. So my dad put a new bottom of it in and it's all fresh and clean now and we cleaned it up really well. So I think she's doing pretty well. And we do um, keep extra manga manga magazines, anime magazines, all that jazz in here. Care Bears were a very important part of my life. As you guys know, I have a little Care Bear tattoo because I love Care Bears so much. They mean so much to me. They're so important to me. I love them. They really helped shape who I am as a person. Like, they showed me that caring about people is one of the most important things you can do for another person. So I try to do that for everyone because I want people to know that like, you know, people do care about others and there are good people in the world. I don't know. God, don't get emotional. <laughs> but yeah, Care Bears mean a lot to me. They, they really shaped me, you know? And then finally, this closet right here is my dark closet and my cosplay slash drag closet. So this closet contains all my dark black clothing and a few other pieces, as well as all my drag, cosplay, stuff like that clothing that is not like everyday wear. It's also just got kind of a plethora of other stuff in it right now because I have just been using it as a kind of catch-all closet. So there's um a little bit of needing for clean in there. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. If you made it through this entire video, please leave this little emoji right here. And before I go, I do just want to ask, I am planning to move out of this place when I can, hopefully soon. So if you would like to see like renovating content, moving content, apartment makeover content, all that stuff, like a tour of the new apartment when we get a new apartment, um, just let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from y'all and 
yeah have a lovely day bye bye